Hi, Internet viewers. This is Frank Rauscher again. We're still uh, proceeding on with the feet. Uh, I want to uh, show you that I painted all the feet and got them white. Now, if you remember correctly, we used uh, a, a sealer, and I used the Joe Sanyo sealer, but you, if you had a matte medium, that would probably do it too. You want to get it on the metal side. This is a, a casting of uh, the Cardinal's feet with legs. And uh, I'm also going to show you, and I did show you on the last uh, video, uh, how to make this. I just have toes as well. So you can, you can purchase either uh, the whole thing with, uh, I should say, the feet and the legs, and then proceed on, uh, or you can uh, buy just the toes and then get wire. Now, I'm going to show you a pair that I've done here, and this is with the wire, and the one uh, somewhat uh, flexible uh, setup on this is the casting is one of these where it's permanent. It gives you the ac actual leg size and everything else. And if you were putting it onto a base, like I'm gonna show you an old wren I did here. And sometimes you wanna foreshorten the leg because it's so close to the base and you really have to trim the leg. So it's nice to make your wire set up rather than with uh, the full leg uh, and feet all together. So I just want to give you some ideas that you can, uh, once you figure out how you want to uh, mount yours, uh, you can uh, sh foreshorten the leg a little bit just to take advantage of that and, and uh, make it work so that the setting looks uh, better at it. Okay, so I'm going to give you uh, a quick run through on the painting of the legs and the feet, and then we'll move on. I'm just going to work with the castings right now, but you can do it with either one. So uh, bear with me. I'm going to move the camera down and I'll show you what I'm in the process of doing here. Okay, so bear with me. Okay, I think we're in focus here. Yep. So I'm going to move this over here. Now, just to, I, I must apologize. Uh, uh, I've had some health issues uh, along the way here, and I'm a little slower in getting the videos out in a timely fashion. So I apologize for that. But uh, bear with me, if you will, and we will... We're going to be finishing up, I guess, within this video. Well, actually, uh, we'll probably have another video after this. I'm going to show you how to paint uh, the leg and the feet all in one here as a casting. And by the way, these castings are of, uh, I believe it's pewter and lead mix that is right that you could bend these and, and, I, and I pretty much guarantee that they won't break. You can either get them just with the toes or you can get it with the one unit, which is the leg and the, uh, the feet together. So uh, you have a choice if you ever need these. And I'm gonna show you, I mixed in here uh, raw sienna and I have uh, burnt umber over on this one. So. I'm going to come in on the raw sienna here, and I've just put uh, maybe a BB size of paint out, and I added like a couple drops of water. So I got this on the heavy side. Uh, it's almost very creamy. So I'm going to come in, and I'm going to paint this with the raw sienna. And, and I'm going to come up into what I call the knuckle right up here. And if you were doing this just with the wire, you're going around the bend here. And you wanna make sure that you paint everything. 
Okay. And, uh, and on the white that I painted before this uh, and dried it, you know, made sure that that was all dry and everything else. Uh, I did that and gave it a couple coats of white, similar mix, where it's a little on the heavier side so that everything's getting coated. And you want to make sure everything does get coated. And then uh, I'm going to bring in my styrofoam, plug it, just make a hole so that I can have them standing, and then I'll do the second one. this going now I want to just do this in one coat if I could possibly do this and get this going and then uh, what we will do is we will dry it and I also like to do the post that goes into the base which is this one down in here that uh, in case a little bit of, the, of it shows you'll have the same coloring so you don't want to see any white and in, in sometimes even for all that you do on this to get it just right and handling the, the feet, uh, you may have to paint it delicately after you get it mounted. It just seems to be the nature of the beast that uh, you don't always get everything you want in the right place. You know, and the paint comes off and uh, you're, when you're handling it, it just fights you. So I'm cleaning my brush out now and then I'm going to get my hair dryer. Get this over here. And here we go. I'm going to dry these pretty good. And when you're doing this, my paint's down below here, but always try to get the air that's going over to dry the feet. Make sure that it's not blowing on the paint in the tray because that becomes like an issue. I just seen something here that I missed. So I'm going to come back real quick and I see the back side of this. I didn't get too well on either one of these. So I'm going to come in before we finalize these. And I, like I said, I want to try to do this in one coat. So uh, as far as uh, the wall sienna. Now I have the other ones with wire on here too. And they could, they're in a drying stage as well. But I'm really trying to just do the casting right now just to show you. So I want to get these pretty good. I get this on the high setting so we get the maximum amount of heat on here. And it should only take about a minute to really get these really dry. And if it's not so if it's not so evenly painted, I wouldn't concern myself too much with that because the next one, uh, the raw umber is going to uh, be darker. Now, like I said, I put about a pea size, not a pea, I'm sorry, about a BB size of paint in there with two small drops of water just to get it on the creamy side, the heavier side. And... I want to make sure I don't have globs of paint on there. So I'm going to come in now and I'm going to paint right over this. Like so. And 
it actually shows some of the what's the name uh, the raw sienna coming through somewhat, and uh, I just want that little bit of coloring in there that that add to it. Make sure you're coating both sides really well. And uh, I think that should do it. I hope you can see that. It it does allow... It, I don't want to take it off. Put it on. There you go. I want to make sure that it gets darkened, but that does has a little bit of highlight of the raw sienna. And I apologize. Every once in a while, I'll say dumb things in the sense of painting colors. I've caught myself on some of the videos here when I'm painting. I get start expressing myself on a, another color. So bear with me. If you watch the whole video, you'll 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 get the gist of what I meant. Sometimes I'll spit out the wrong color when in the beginning I may have said the right one. And if you have any questions, definitely uh, contact me in uh, my uh, uh, comment section of uh, the video and I will gladly try to explain things again if I confused you. I uh, also uh, would like to help any of you out that may have a problem in a certain area to contact me and I'll gladly try to give you some more information other than the video itself personally and uh, we can we can discuss that. Now there's the second one, okay? So I'm gonna put this in here as well. Plug my, there we go. I'm going to get that in there. Rinse your brush out. Remember the rule. Get the paint out of the brush. You know, I said that to you before. One of my brushes, the thinner one I have, uh, I'm, I'm using about a number six here, and it just holds enough paint. You know, you don't want to get to a real thin brush. Uh, I have one floating around here somewhere. It's, it's much thinner. And you don't want to use the thinner one to get into tight areas. Like if you're uh, doing the bird, you know, and you're trying to do the beak or something like that, a thinner brush works out very well. Uh, when you're uh, doing like the feet, you, you got a lot of paint you want to get into there. So uh, you got to utilize the, br the right size brush, okay? And when we're doing washes, I'll even go with sometimes a bigger brush in this too. You get into a, like a number eight, something like this. And this is a number 10. Even that would be, do well, okay? And you could see if you don't clean out your brushes, you get a buildup of the paint back in here. And some of these, they're okay to a point, but you, you start losing uh, your brushes, especially with acrylics. Yeah, you have to have them hang in there and you can take care of them by rinsing them out. Don't let uh, the paint sit in there. And the other thing you don't want to do too is if you have a, a big bunch of water, don't ever leave your brush like this because what it does, it starts loosening uh, the hairs and and it, it starts bending. So it'll knock the shape out of it. Uh, in most of these uh, cases, this goes right back to a point, and that's what you want. You know, There are some brushes that are made that are uh, they're squared up, and uh, like this one here. Now, some people love these for putting washes on, so it's just a matter of preference. You know, I've use the the point at what they call the round uh, and and I like these as well but uh, my favorites are probably the rounds more than anything else so uh, I'm gonna let them sit and dry for a minute and then I want to go on to uh, the bird itself uh, 
we'll come back. We may give that a second coat, but let me see how that dries. And then I'm going to go on to how do you put the feet onto the bird and where does it go? Now, this bird probably measures from one end to the other, from the beak to the tail, about five and a half inches. And about midway is right about here, and I'm gonna back it up maybe another quarter of an inch. So it's gonna be what is almost right in the middle of this bird. So I'm gonna come in here and I put a mark right here and I put a mark over here. And that is roughly, just to give you a, a, a number, it's almost an inch apart. It, I'd say it's about seven eighths apart, but you can vary these. And then on this, and, and it also depends on the setting sometimes. When you're trying to mount this onto something and the feet just don't go on easy, and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna bring this wren back into the picture. You can see how I staggered these feet. You know, not everything is in straight line with each other where this piece, if it was just coming out and the bird just sitting on it, it's easy. You just plug them right in. But because one is way back here and the other one's up front, you gotta compensate for that sometime. And that's when I was saying sometimes with the wire, you can shorten up on it and it makes it easier. And it almost looks like the leg is into the body, which it can be. Now, in this case here, I'm taking the chances, but you could actually move this point back. I wouldn't go as much forward, but more back to make it look right. I'm actually picking how normally this should be set. Most of the time, the middle of the bird in length from beak to the tail is where you want to attach the feet, okay? So I put two dots there. I get an awl like this, okay? And that's this guy right here. And I start get a starter hole. And then I do the same thing over here. And I push it in, okay? So now, what I also did that you didn't see, the diameter of these feet have a rod that goes in to the, to the body. So I picked out a drill bit that is a little bigger, I'm hoping it is anyway, uh, to take uh, that rod when I go to drill. So uh, I want you to uh, make sure you determine that. Now I drew, drew the pilot hole so that when I start to drill up, it'll, it'll go right in on that spot and won't jump on me. So I'm gonna drill it in. Enough to take that length of uh, rod that's sticking out on the, on, on the foot. And, and now I got two holes in there. Let me just uh, clean this one up a little bit. And this one here. Okay, now that is set for the 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 feet. Now let me go back. I'm going to re-dry these so I can handle them and I'll show you how to do the installation. take a chance and hope that these are all dry. Now, like I said to you, the toes, when it goes into the body, the back toe should be towards the middle. 
and the other side, the toe is also going towards the middle. So you have them leaning this way and you have them leaning this way as far as uh, the way they're set up. See, I just bent that real easy I, just by trying to push that in there. Let me just lay that down there real quick. I'm going to get this foot and I'm going to slide that right up and in and get that knuckle right up into there. I hope you can see that well. And then I'm going to get the other foot and I'm going to stick that one right up. Get that knuckle right on up to the body. And there we go. Now we have our feet set into the bird. Now, I would normally glue that in, but I'm not going to do it right away because I want to show you on the next video how to mount this onto a piece of driftwood or something like that, or a branch or whatever you prefer. And then uh, I'm going to show you how to finish that up. Okay, so the next video should be the completion of the setting and with the bird and everything else. So I hope you got something out of this. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. And if you could give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that as well. Hey, thank you again, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.